welcome back to another brand new video. Today I decided to do a random pack opening video with a bunch of different packs from, I believe it's 2015 all the way up to 2020. So from within the last five or so years, we've got a, a nice collection of packs. There was some really cool stuff in here. We got 2018 Bowman looking for Luis Robert first Bowman. We've got a couple packs of 2019 Series 2. Maybe we'll find a Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. We've got some 2020 Topps Chrome, including some Jumbo Topps Chrome packs. Um, some 2017 Topps, lots of stuff. So let's just get into it and see what we can find. And uh, I guess we'll start off with the, uh, let's go right to the, the good stuff here, right in the middle. And um, let's do this 2020 Topps Chrome pack. By the way, Steve is sponsoring this video. Steve, thank you very much. He's going to receive all the cards from this video. So... First question is, how many autographs amongst the 50 packs are we going to find? Um, it's a collection of some retail, some hobby. Like you can see, we have some hobby packs sprinkled throughout. I don't have an actual breakdown, but um, I'm going to go for, I'd be happy with two autographs out of this lot. would be very, very nice. Um, we'll see what we can do. Hopefully a lot of rookie cards. There's another hobby pack. All those 2017s are hobbies. So let's see what we've got in our first pack. We got some 2020 Chrome to start things off as Nick Solak, rookie card. He was one of the best cards we pulled out of Gold Label last night in our Saturday showdown. His gold framed card. Not a whole bunch of surprises, unfortunately, in that one. And this first pack doesn't produce any autographs, unfortunately. No top notch autographs either. These are some packs that I had left over from a break. We sold these by the half box, so I had a few packs left over. Uh, when we only sold half of the final box, there's a Zach Gallon. Hey, there's a good one. A Dustin May rookie card. Focus. Focus. Why are we struggling to focus on the Dustin May? That's a nice one. We'll get that one sleeved up. Justin Dunn negative card. Nick Senzel. There's a Nolan Arenado. Paul DeYoung. Juan Moncada. Walker Bueller. And Shohei Otani. So, so far the best card out of those two packs was a, uh, a Dustin May. All right, let's do, um, got a Diamond King pack here. Let's get the Diamond King stuff out of the way. There's only a couple packs of them, but let's see what we can find. This is a 2017 Diamond King pack that I had left over. Um, when I make up Patreon packages, I usually have some leftover packs, or I'll make up a, a couple more packages than I need, and I kind of put them aside, and these were sitting in a bin somewhere, um, and I just opened them up and decided to use some of the packs from the Patreon packages in an opening video. So nothing crazy in this pack either. A nice uh, Jackie Robinson in there. This is a beautiful-looking card right here, Nolan Ryan Heritage Collection. Great-looking card there from Diamond Kings. We've got another Diamond King pack in here. It's a 20... 19 one this one is a little thick it looks like there's going to be a spacer or a hit in here for steve you have an actual hit so that's pretty darn awesome steve i'm hoping it's going to be an autograph so here we go it might be a relic there's Hannes wagner jean carlos stanton there's nolan ryan and the hit is going to be it is going to be a relic of hall of famer lee smith that's pretty cool a Lee Smith relic. Lee Smith, former closer there in his St. Louis Cardinals uniform. It's numbered 14 out of 49. A Lee Smith game-used relic. Not too shabby there. So our first um, hit of the day is a nice Lee Smith. Steve, congratulations on that one. Let's see. We've got a couple other ones that are just one-and-done packs, like a 2019 Bowman pack. Maybe we'll find a Wander in here. Let's see what we can do. There's... Aaron Nola as the first card. Edwin Diaz, Ruggi Odor, Ronald Acuna Jr. It'll be interesting to see if the Braves can go on to the World Series or not. There's Jordan Alvarez, nice Bowman Chrome card. Brent Honeywell, Aloy Jimenez, and Brewer Hicklin. I'm recording this right now. It's um, it's about dinner time on Sunday evening. The game has not yet started between the um, Braves and Dodgers. I'm hoping that the Dodgers can take it just because I, if you remember way back to the beginning of the postseason, here's a Heritage High number pack from 2018. I picked the Rays to beat the Dodgers in seven games. So the Rays are already in. So I'm looking pretty good still with my pick 
for the World Series champion, but it would be pretty cool if I picked both teams. There's Kershaw spins a game one gem. Kershaw, the knock on him is he's never been able to really get it done in the playoffs. I mean, he had a, a good game earlier in the, this round of the playoffs, or not this round, but last round of the playoffs, but has not really been, uh, I don't know, just not been able to get it done. Let's do some 2018 Stadium Club Packs and see if we can find anything good in here. We're up to one hit right now. It's a relic hit. There's a Johnny Bench. Ricky Henderson, Robbie Ray. Stadium Club always has such nice photography. There's Mike Clevenger talking with Roberto Perez. Clevenger dealing with some arm issues during the postseason before the Padres got bounced out. Hopefully he's going to be all right for next year. It's a nice Mark McGuire card. Back in the heyday, there's Christian Yelich. He needs to bounce back next year. And Yon Moncada had kind of a down year as well. Another bounce back candidate. Not be surprised if one of those two guys is your comeback player of the year next year. In our final stadium club pack, we've got a cinder guard. There's Cargo making a diving catch. He's not around anymore. I believe he's since retired. A rookie card of Rafael Devers. We've got an Avisiel Garcia and Lucas Giolito. So a nice Devers. I'll sleeve that one up. Let's do um, – these are kind of scattered here and there. Let's try to kind of organize these a little bit. How about we go ahead and do our 2017 packs? Here we go. I knew there was two of them. Let's see if we can find an Aaron Judge rookie card or maybe Alex Bregman. I think we may have a Jamison Tyone. There's Clay Buckholes and Dellen Batances. Jose Bautista, Cameron Maben, Terry Francona, manager of the Indians right there, Sonny Gray, and two Sonny Grays back-to-back. -back. Mookie Betts, there he is, making a nice play, kind of very similar to the play he made in Game 6 of the NLCS out there against the wall. Last night, James Tyon, last card there. Let's check out the other pack of 2017. 2017 Series 1, if you're going to get a, a pack of anything 2017, I believe Series 1 is the way to go. Next up, uh, I, I'm going to have to go with update. Series 2, Not um, it's good, but not quite as good. There's a 1987 Roger Clemens card. That's a cool-looking card right there. I love the 87 design. If I had to rank all of the Topps designs of all time, 1987 Topps would likely end up making the top five. I love that design so much. Let's continue with 2017, and we have two more 2017 Series 2 packs. I didn't have any packs laying around of uh, update unfortunately there's an alex gordon he's now retired had a nice long career justin Bohr. there's kike hernandez Corey kluber the clue bot we've got a tim anderson mr batting champion right there it's not number but this one is washington nationals uh looks like uh bryce harper getting some high fives from the entire bullpen out there that's kind of a cool looking card it's numbered 738 of 2017 andrew mccutcheon former most viable player back in 2013 Good old Matt Garza and another Cinder Guard. Let's check out that other 2017 pack and see what we can find. We've got a Jed Lowry. Most of this stuff is tops, but I do see just a couple Panini products. We'll probably crank out the Panini products next. Uh, looks like it's some Don Russ from 2015 and 2016. Gary Carter, there's Sung Wan Oh. That one's numbered 1130 of 2017. Trey Turner. So no decent rookies yet. Next, let's do those good old Panini packs. How about we do the 2016s first? We got two of each of them. And then we'll work with uh, we got all, everything else is Tops or Bowman. Also got a possible bat down pack right there. That'd be pretty awesome. Here we go. What is this? 2016. There's Todd Frazier in his red uniform. He would win the home run derby back in 2015. Prince Fielder had to retire because of a neck issue. Ichiro, future Hall of Famer, no doubt. There's Miguel Sano. And Dallas Keuchel, Miguel Sano's strikeout numbers were absolutely alarming this past year, striking out about half of the time. Where's my other Donruss pack? Here it is. Another 2016 Donruss pack. We have a, looks like you have a hit in here. It's not a spacer. Uh, yes, it is a sp spacer. Well, that's a disappointment. I saw the studio card. There's a spacer that we can use for another time to write someone's name on. Good old Don Russ. I, I feel like about a third of the packs have the spacers in them, Nolan Arenado. So sometimes you get one, sometimes you don't. Like in these ones, I don't know if they, they – they might both be spacers, actually. That one feels more rigid than this one. Um, there's – is there something in here that's good? Let's see. This is 2016. Don Russ, Scott Casper. I'm never a big fan of the Don Russ designs. I always feel like they're kind of generic looking. 
And we have a, an Evan Longoria. It's a press proof card. It's numbered 159 of 199. Got excited there and thought maybe we had an autograph. There's a Kenny's Vargas. Um, is that an elite card? No, Don Russ Preferred. Looks very similar to an elite. And Michael Taylor rookie card is the last one for Steven. Let's check out this Tony Gwynn. No autographs yet. So far, the best hit has been the um, spacer coming up. Yep. So far, the best um, card has been the um, probably the relic of Lee Smith. This is a pretty good one, though. Out of 99, Jorge Soler Elite rookie card. Soler won the home run crown last year with 48. One of the bright spots for the Kansas City Royals. Nothing crazy in those packs. All right, where do we turn next? How about we do these Harper packs? Eh, let's do this one first. 2019, or 2020 Heritage. We've got Shed Long as the first card there. Hoping for one of the top rookie cards. There's the Houston Astros. These guys, especially Toro and Abreu, signed with a lot of autographs in 2020. And a lot of you can breathe a nice sigh of relief now that the Astros are out of the playoffs. We were all worried that they were going to get in on the heels of their cheating scandal. That would have been a slap in the face. Here's a 2016 Series 1. I believe that um, pretty much everyone's getting a 2016 Series 1 pack in their Patreon packages this month. Stalin Castro, everyone on the 26th tier and up, I should say. Cattell Marte, rookie card is a nice one. Greg Bird. We've got an Evan Gaddis, who's now retired. And Hanley Ramirez is the last one right there. Let's sleeve up that Cattell Marte. Let's check out the other pack. 2016 Series 1, by far and away, is the best of the three series of 2016. Here's our next pack. Castellanos, Carlos Gomez, back-to-back. -back. Peterson and Gonzalez card. Corey Kluber, Alexi Ramirez, and Alec Asher is the last one. All right, let's uh, let's do some of these hobby packs. Now, how about these chrome? We got four chrome hobby packs from 2017, and I am hoping to find an autograph in at least one of these. Renato Nunez rookie card, Dan Vogelback rookie card, former All Star, Carlos Gonzalez refractor. Hey, how about that one? That's way better than you would find for for an, an autograph. It is a Cody Bellinger rookie card, 2017 Chrome. So, Steve, that's a very, very nice card. That's likely going to go down as the best card in this video. Cody Bellinger Chrome rookie card. A great pull right there. There we go. Very, very nice. Congratulations, Steve. Maybe we'll find another one. We've got four, three more packs left to see what we can find in here. There's a Dansby Swanson rookie card and an Aaron Judge rookie card. So 2017 Chrome bringing the fireworks. Dansby Swanson's a very nice card. We'll sleeve that one up. And an Aaron Judge 1987 rookie card. It only took you two packs to find the two best cards in all of 2017, Steve. That is what we're talking about. So we've got momentum on our side now. Let's see if we can keep it up. All right, we've got Dylan Batances, there's Corey Seager, Pat Neshek, and Jose Quintana. Not every pack's going to have a major rookie hit in it. Here's the last 2017 pack. There's Jake Arrieta as the first card. We've got a Chris Archer. Here comes a blue parallel. It is a Yoan Moncada blue rookie autograph. So the 2017 Chrome delivers all of the fireworks in the video. we got a... Cody Bellinger, former MVP, his rookie card. And now we get a nice one right there. Yoan Moncada, who had an amazing season last year. And it is a numbered rookie auto out of just 75. A great pull right there. Um, I'm tempted to just end or stop the video and go look up how much this card is worth. But um, you can let me know in the comments. What this goes for on eBay, a beautiful blue Yohan Moncada. Steve, congratulations on that. And we're not done yet. So I asked for two autographs. That's what I was hoping for. Not trying to sound greedy, but uh, we've got one. Let's see if we can find one more. Let's go ahead and get the, the big league and Allen and Ginter out of the way. There's one big league pack in here. Every now and then, you might get lucky with a pack of Big League. I mean, with 2020 Big League, we got lucky a lot of times. It seems like two out of every three boxes had an auto. This one does not. Let's do the Allen & Ginter now. We've got a couple different years of Allen & Ginter. We've got some 2020s here and there. This looks like three of those packs. And we have a 2019 in there as well. So let's do these. I don't know. Maybe we'll get a framed mini in one of these. Here's 2019. Sonny Gray on the top. There's Danny Jansen. Wade Boggs. Roy Halladay. 
some girl biting a metal. There's a Brad Keller and the Franimal. Fran Mill Race is the last one. So as expected, nothing crazy in there. Let's do these other three packs and see what we've got. 2020 Allen Ginter. That looks like there's a um, a security tag in there. These are these must be retail packs. David Dahl, Dallas Keuchel, some sort of rock, and Duke Snyder. Next pack up for Alan Ginter. We have um, this one feels a little thick. Do we have a rip card in here? There's something going on, and we have ourselves a hit. It's a Paul De Jong relic. So our I guess technically that's our third hit of a relic or auto. We've got two relics now. Former All Star Paul De Jong goes in the sleeve pile. Congratulations on that one, Steve. I was hoping it was going to be a rip card, but um, we'll take that. I guess. Last pack of Alan Ginter. We've got Brandon Woodruff. There is Cecil Fielder, a Black Border, Xander Bogart, some random tower, and Don Mattingly. So the Alan Ginter is done. You can all exhale. A nice sigh of relief. Where do we go next? How about, um, let's do Gypsy Queen. A couple packs of Gypsy Queen. As you can see, our packs are dwindling on the screen. 50 total packs. I thought about making it 100, but uh, that we might be here for 40 minutes. If we did a hundred, I like to do these videos every now and again. I feel like this is my maybe the third or fourth random pack opening video that we've done. You guys seem to like them. We've got a parallel coming up. It is a Trey Turner. It's numbered out of 250, 70 of 250. We'll go ahead and move that one over to the sleeve pile. Justin Smoke Buster Posey, keeping an eye out for any um, missing n uh, names or logo swaps in there. Gypsy Queen. Logo swaps. How about we do archives? Archives is a nice release. 2020, I love this set. It's very, very nice. With 1974 cards in here, along with the 2002, which you see right there. There's the Polar Bear insert card, and 55 as well. I love the 55 set. Got to do a uh, Throwback Thursday 55 Tops one of these days. Of course, it'll have to be a set break because buying a box of those is impossible because they don't exist. Robel Garcia rookie card, Keston Hira. There's Showtime, Shohei Otani, Clayton Kershaw, Frank Robinson. We're trying to find Andrew Benatendi, 74 Tops design, because right after him always is Luis Robert. There's Aloy Jimenez, Robert's teammate, Walker Bueller, Victor Robles. We've got a rookie of Logan Allen. There's a rookie of Jordan Alvarez. Get that one sleeved up. I'm still sleeving Jordan. Gary Sanchez and Kent Maeda, who I believe had the lowest whip in the major leagues this past season. Something like 0 0.7 something, I think. Just a crazy low number. All right, getting into the uh, the final stretch. Let's do all these 2020 Series 2 packs. We've got three of three of these and then a, uh, a fat pack to do. Let's see what we can find. Maybe we'll get lucky and find an autograph. We're at two relics and one autograph so far. And um, basically with Series 2, what we're looking for is Luis Robert, his rookie card. It would be really cool if we could find a parallel of his rookie card. That would be big, big money. There's a Jim Bunning, Decades Best, Scott Oberg, and Rymel Tapia, two Rockies cards. Let's do the next pack and see what's in here. Um, typically with these hobby packs, more often than not, your hit will be a relic. I feel like it's... Um, I don't know, like three quarters of the time, it's going to be a relic. Mookie Betts in his Dodgers uni. He's going to be in that Dodgers uniform for a long, long time. So get used to seeing that. Hideki Matsui, all-star card. Cole Hamels and the Brave New World card with Acuna and Ozzy Albies getting up there. They might be in the World Series. We'll see. One more game to be played tonight. Here's the final pack of um, Series 2 before we do that fat pack. Andrew Knapp, Mitch Keller. We've got a rookie card of Danny Mendick. It's not the one we were after. This one is, this particular pack is a retail pack because there's the Pete Alonso in there along with the Turkey Red card. The retail packs might actually be better than the hobby packs because they're, they're cheaper and um, you have a better, I don't know, I want to say a better chance of finding Luis Robert, but I guess for the money, it's, it's a little cheaper if you're just going after Luis Robert. Here's the fat pack. These fat packs, when you used to be able to find them at Walmart, they were $5.98 a pack. And um, I feel like you can still, f I don't know, actually you can't find them anymore. At least around here you can't. You can find them on eBay, but people on eBay are selling for $10 a piece, which is not cool. 
Will we find a Luis Robert at all? That's the question. Maybe, because even if we don't find them in this pack, we still have those 2018 Bowman packs, which are very desirable. A lot of people love those. There's a, a Eugenio Suarez Chrome Turkey Red card, Ricky Henderson, Pete Alonso, a Stan the Man Musial Turkey Red. We've got Frank Thomas, Geo, and we're not going to find um, lots of White Sox in that pack, but no Luis Robert. All right, we're getting down to it now. Let's do our 2020 Series 1 packs. There's two hobby packs here. I, I don't know. I wish I could find some of these on the shelves. They just totally disappear. There's Mike Brousseau, rookie card, who might end up being uh, one of the top five rookies in this set. Usually, whenever we talk about the top five rookies in Series 1, we're always like, oh, yeah, Jordan Alvarez and Gavin Lux and Bo Bichette and... Um, Dustin May and Aristides Aquino. No one ever talks about Mike Brousseau, but that might change. There's the Dustin May right there, a nice one right there. I'm actually going to sleeve up that Brousseau for Steve. He might just go to the World Series and have a huge series. Well, we do know that he will be in the World Series, that's for sure. There's an Anthony Rizzo 1985 blue, not numbered, but still pretty cool. And we got one more pack of 2020 tops for you, Steve. 2020 Top Series 1. Let's see what we can find. So, why can't you find... There's a Nico Horner rookie card. He's definitely amongst the top 10 to consider for the top rookie cards in the class. Why can't you find these on the shelves? I, I don't know. I don't know if people are picking these up and just um, hoarding them and just putting them on a shelf. I feel like the problem right now is we do have a problem with people buying them and flipping them and putting them all on eBay. But... I feel like a lot of people just go and they might see, like, I don't know, a bunch of this 2020 Series 1 and just buy a whole bunch of it and throw it on a shelf, knowing that more than likely it's going to double in value based off of the recent years that we've seen. Uh, for example, if you would have bought uh, a whole bunch of this product last summer, you would uh, be a pretty happy person right now because blaster box of these are now over $100 a piece, and last year they were 20 bucks a piece, so they've gone up uh, five times in value which is just absolutely insane let's see if we have a bat down for steve chances are we don't but we might the the short prints in 2018 series two are the bat down acuna jr which is a very valuable card and also there's a glaber short print which is the second best card that you can find he's not going to be in there unfortunately so we're down to three different releases how about we do our chrome four card packs uh, then we have the two best for last. There's going to be a Nico Horner on the back of this, which is a nice one. Tyler Glass now, Zach Collins, Nico Horner, 85 is a beautiful looking card right there. We'll get that one sleeved up for you, Steve. So the best card is still the the uh, Yon Moncada, Blue Auto, and also Cody Bellinger. I thought the Bellinger was going to end up being the best one in the video because if we did pull an autograph, I was expecting it to be kind of like a eh, you know an an average autograph. Typically, an average autograph is like five to ten bucks. I do not expect to find a a uh, budding superstar on Yon Moncada, especially a blue. There's Sheldon Noisy, blue numbered auto. So we're down to this. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. We've got six packs left. I hope that you'll hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you very much for helping us reach 75,000 subscribers. Let's see if we can find Luis Robert first. We've got four Bowman packs in 2018 to do it. Also, please hit the thumbs up button. I would very, very much appreciate that. Helps the video out. There's Alex Verdugo, rookie card. Max Freed, rookie card. Two nice rookies right there. There's Mitch Keller, Ramos Garcia, Aloy Jimenez, Bowman Chrome. Will Craig made his major league debut with the Buccas this year. And Glaber is the last one. Three more packs. Next up, there's an Alex Jackson, Marcel Ozuna, who's been crazy this year. Look at this. <laughs> kind of a repeat pack there. Victor Robles joins the fray. Michael Mercado, first Bowman. Jack Flaherty. It'd be really, really nice to find Luis Robert. But if we don't, I feel like overall this has been a successful pack opening because we, we found two relic hits and a very nice auto and a Cody Bellinger. Here is the next pack of 2018. Miguel Andujar's rookie card. He's uh, His stock has fallen a lot because of injuries. Brendan McKay swinging the bat there. Here's a nice rookie card, or rookie pipeline. You got Albert Abreu, Justice Sheffield, now in the big leagues, and Glaber, now, of course, a, a, a star. There's Jose Garcia, first Bowman. And we're now down to our last 2018 Bowman pack. And then we've got our 2019 Series 2, which will be trying hard to find Fernando Tatis Jr. rookie card. Let's see if we can find Steve. 
Yeah, Luis Robert. Here we go. Joey Votto, Anthony Rizzo. There's a Goldie. Frankie Lindor. Carter Key, boom. Luis Garcia. And unfortunately, no Luis Robert today. But here's the last two packs. It's 2019 Series 2. Love these packs. Let's see what we can find. There's going to be a gold card in here. There's Carlos. Is that, how do you even pronounce that? Toki? Tosi? I have no idea. I don't follow the Rangers that closely. There's Rowdy Telez. Steve uh, Cisek. Always have trouble pronouncing his name. Dom Leone. Or Leon, just butchering everyone's name in this pack. There's Freddie Peralta, Juan Lagares. Come on. No Tatis. If you're going to find the Tatis, he's going to be a landscape card, a sideways card. And it's our last chance to find him right here. Steve, thank you very much for sponsoring this video. And thank you all of you for watching. Tomorrow we have Mystery Box Monday. We'll be featuring $100 Mystery Box. They're actually 90 I think they're $90, but after tax and shipping, they might end up being around 100 We're featuring some high-end Mystery Boxes tomorrow from ebay make sure you check those out some great stuff for sure hopefully will be found in there i opened up the uh the packaging box and inside there's nine boxes and it said that three of the boxes were hot boxes and one of them was uh like an alpha hot box so there might be something crazy in one of them there's david freeze and the last card is going to be chris davinsky so it's steve thank you very much for sponsoring this video congratulations on the um uncaught up blue parallel auto from 2017 chrome Thank you to all of you for watching this video. I hope you guys have a great rest of your Sunday. I hope you had a great weekend. And I will see you all tomorrow for Mystery Box Monday. Good night, everybody.